Hey everyone, welcome to um, our, well, our penultimate practice test question. I can't believe we've got through almost all of them here. And this time we're on the snow cone problem, which is another one of these related rates problems. So let's have a quick look at that. You're eating a delicious snow cone and eventually all that's left from your POG, passion fruit, orange, and guava snow cone, is a diluted water mixture that rises to a height of three inches from the bottom of a conical shaped container. The container is six inches tall with a diameter of four inches and you notice that there is a leak and quickly calculate that the cone is draining at a rate of five cubic inches per minute the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. So let's take a look at our cone here and let's start to mark this up a little bit. We see that our cone has dimensions of, uh, well, if diameter is four inches, then the radius is going to be two inches. So we'll do the radius first. Remember, uh, the diameter is not really great for a lot of our calculations. We would prefer to know the uh, radius. And the cone itself is six inches tall. So this is what we do. Uh, the mixture inside the cone, let's just say it comes up to over here. Uh, maybe I should use a more pog appropriate color. What color can we use? What color can we use? Um, okay, let's use this orange one. All right, our, our pog comes up to right about here. And we know that currently it is um, three inches from the bottom. So we know that this is three inches from the bottom up over here. But remember, this is changing. In fact, we know it's decreasing. So we can't treat it like a constant. We've got to um, use a value for it instead. What happened here? Okay, um, let's write things out then in terms of what we know. We know that the volume of the cone it is four third, no, one third pi r squared h. This is a little bit unsatisfactory because we have three variables in our equation. So we're going to use similar cones to. Um, figure this out. So the outer cone, which is the paper cone, that has a ratio of 2 to 6 radius to height. And of course, if the liquid in the cone, or if the liquid is in the cone, that means that the liquid in the cone has to maintain that same ratio. Uh, 2 to 6 or 1 to 3. So uh, that means that the radius is equal to one third the height always. As long as we're inside this particular cone the radius is always going to be one third of the height because these two are similar shapes. Great. Did I answer part B? No, I didn't. We need a formula for the volume of the cone in terms of H only. So we're going to simplify by substituting one third H for R. This gives us a equation of pi over 27 h cubed. 
So that's my answer for part A. Part B, how much liquid is currently in the cup? Well, currently the height is three inches. So B, um, pi over 27 uses three inches and cubum. That gives me 3.14 um, cubic uh, inches here. Let's write a summary statement for that. So currently there is 3.14159 cubic inches of liquid in the cup. That's it for part B. Let's take a look at part C, write an equation for dV dt. Uh, the rate of change of liquid with respect to time. Well, we have an equation for V. Well, let's just take the derivative of that. D dt of volume is equal to D dt of pi over 27 h cubed. Notice that we're taking a derivative with respect to t, and the variables we're given are different than t. So we'll have to use some chain rule in order to take the derivative successfully. So let's see. The derivative of v with respect to t is the derivative of v with respect to v, v dv dv, which is 1, multiplied by dv dt. Pi over 27 is constant, and the derivative of h cubed with respect to t is the derivative of h cubed with respect to h, which is 3h squared, multiplied by dh dt. That's our chain rule. Um, is there anything else here? No, that's it. Uh, let's clean that up a little bit, and we get dv dt. That's equal to, what is that, um, pi over 9 multiplied by h squared dh dt. So that's our part C and part D. How fast is the liquid currently decreasing? So for part D, we're just going to substitute our current state into uh, dv dt. So, um, do I have a number for dv dt? Yeah, the cone is draining at a half cubic inch per minute. So since dv dt is decreasing, we're going to do negative 0 0.5 for dv dt. It's just a good habit to get into. Over 9, currently h is 3, and then dh dt. This is not too difficult of a solve, uh, so take a second and solve that. When you do solve it, you will get dh dt is equal to negative 0 0.15915. Let's write out a summary statement and be done with this. So when the height of the liquid is 3 inches, the height of the liquid is decreasing at a rate of 0 0.15915 cubic inches per minute. And that takes care of our delicious pog snow cone. I, I love pog. It's uh, one of my favorite flavors, especially when you get yourself out to Hawaii. Um, so I'll see you next time when we do one last problem from our practice test. Have a good one.